And um, the one I'm holding is actually is pretty unique to the line. First of all, just to kind of educate people, all the Majesty guitars are neck through guitars. So in, in my line with Ernie Ball Music Man, um, who I've been with for 20 years now, mm -hmm. which is unbelievable. That's two thirds of my <laughs> career with Dream Theater. Um, so uh, of all of them, the Majesty is the only neck through okay. version. Now the particular, this particular one I'm holding is called the Tiger Eye. And this was uh, the only one we did as a limited edition. So there were 300 of these made six and seven string. And um, the thing that's unique about this guitar is uh, it's the only one that's made of alder. So the sides of the guitar are alder. And just to explain the construction, the headstock, the neck, and the main part of the body is all one piece of mahogany. Oh, very And cool. so the, the bridge and the pickups are direct mounted into that. And that's where you get all of the meat and the sustain and, and all that. And then the alder will, will kind of shape the sound. Okay. Um, the other thing that's unique about this guitar is that it's the only one that has a full maple top. So some of the other ones I'll show you either don't have a maple top at all or the maple top only covers the shield, which is in the center. So this is the first one that we did with the full ma maple top. Great. And it's so beautiful. You can really see the figuring of the maple. They're all unique. Um, it's carried through to the headstock. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all, the, all about the details. Um, three piece neck in the back and even up here on the back of the headstock. Um, all of the new majesties come with uh, DiMarzio pickups. I've been with DiMarzio forever and ever, and uh, we design new pickups for these guitars. Uh, this is called the Dreamcatcher. This is called the Rainmaker. Okay. And uh, they sound unbelievable. <clears throat> okay, and what's uh, the difference between both speakers? Is one a tighter wind, or, you know, what do you, what's um, going on in there? Well, you know what, <clears throat> the, the, both pickups are meant to sort of bring out, you know, what the guitar sort of does acoustically and the characteristics of all this wood combination. Mm -hmm. So the bridge pickup, pickup is going to give a really sort of uh, forward, bold, aggressive, um, tight on the low end, sweet on the top end kind of sound. Um, the neck pickup, the reason I call it the Rainmaker is because it makes people cry when you play okay. solos on it. <laughs> um, it's going to have a, a very sort of fluid, liquidy, clear sound but uh, and then of course you can combine the pickups um, there's a three-way toggle um, there's a coil tap on the tone control okay you punch that pops out when you're in the middle position um, all the majesty guitars have a piezo system yes right so this control here selects magnetic both piezo and magnetic or only piezo okay. and you also have controls for the EQ of that piezo and the volume on the back. Very cool. And another cool feature, all these guitars have a preamp built into the guitar. So if you're using a long cable, you don't have to worry about cable, uh, set, um, tonal degradation. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, we, we also uh, were able to put a boost on the volume control. So there's an up to 20 dB boost on the volume control. And everything on the guitar are, uh, is made with performance in mind. So all these controls, if you want to hit that boost, you just punch it. Okay. It pops up, you shut it off like that. And trust me, when you're playing and you're in the heat of battle, you know, you don't want to be sitting there like trying to find a little switch or pulling out the control. So just having the ability to do that as you're playing is great. And um, yeah, and the Majesty has a sim it looks like it has a really comfortable contour. It does. So you have access all the time. You're yeah. not reaching over anything or it, around anything. Right. It's incredibly, incredibly comfortable. The neck dimensions. Um, the, the contour of the body, the way it kind of sits against your body, it's just so silky. Uh, the layout of all the controls, if you notice, it's on an arc, mm -hmm. and that follows the natural arc of your hand yeah. as you're playing. So, you know, if, you need, if you're playing in the middle of a solo and you need to hit this, you know, you're not searching for it. It's also not in your way. If you're, I tend to kind of anchor my hand here. Yep. So these are nice and out of your way. You need to switch the piezo, it's right there. You know, on, just stop on a dime. You know, right there, you need to punch that. They're all in, right there. And is it the same tremolo bridge that you used on earlier models? Yeah, so, um, so this is uh, proprietary to uh, Music Man Guitars. Um, we, we slightly changed the shape to sort of uh, go with the majesty, but um, this is uh, an original floating trem that we developed. Um, it has all rounded edges, rounded mm -hmm. saddles, 
so it feels really comfortable on your hand. There's nothing sharp, nothing that's going to dig into your hand. Um, and of course, the piezo uh, elements are in there as well. Okay. Um, they all have stainless steel frets, ebony fretboard. You know, it plays like butter. It looks nice. <laughs> it looks really sweet. Yeah. And so anyway, that was a long explanation that will pretty much carry into the other ones. Okay. Um, but this is the Tiger Eye Limited. Great. You know, yeah. let me ask you one more question sure. too. And this is about the wood selection. Yeah. Um, you know, I assume that you've been playing, obviously, various types of guitars for your whole career. What made mm. you focus on Ash? And also what made you sort of look through, uh, look at essentially what's a, an update on the idea of old center block construction? You know, right. because old, old Gibsons had essentially that. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of a historic element of this sure. design. Sure. Well, a couple of things. Um, th so just to clarify, mm -hmm. this guitar is Alder. So the, Alder. Oh, that's yeah. why. I'm sorry, Alder. That's okay. So the wings are Alder. It, the reason we picked that, uh, no particular reason, just like to do something different, we had done an Alder version. Uh, I guess this is the, the way the story goes. We had done one of my other signature models in Alder, mm -hmm. and I liked the way it sounded, and I wanted to kind of do a Majesty combination with that guitar. And so we never used Alder on Majesties. They've always been either basswood or mahogany. Okay. And so it's the first time we did that. It's just a different sound. It presents a, you know, a different spice than the spice rack. And um, this guitar has a really, sort of out front sound um, that the sort of middle is a bit more pronounced and kind of sweeter as well. Um, as far as the middle block thing, that's something that Ernie Ball Music Man started to do. Uh, they, they did like a tone block thing um, where on, on even on guitars that weren't neck through. Mm -hmm. And so there'd be like a, a sort of a piece of mahogany that was just about this size. In, in a basswood guitar or an all guitar, alder guitar or mahogany guitar. Um, and then all the, you know, the bridge and the pickups would be mounted to that. And that kind of like gave you that solid, you know, foundation of sound. And then whatever you covered the top with, you know, whether it's maple or koa or whatever it is, and whatever the sides were would sort of contribute to the tonal recipe, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, I guess. And I guess yeah. that gives you also just a very vibrant feeling, alive kind of melody oh, yeah. guitar, too. Yeah, it, it, I think what it does is it gives the guitars a, a ton of um, character. Mm. Yeah, they just really speak, and they're all different in their own way.